I'm back and my battery just died so we're gonna try and make this fast so yeah I forgot to mention a couple things in my cosmetic -y haul thing um also at the next I got this Sally Hansen miracle gel top coat um I had this when I was in Ohio and I fell in love with it but I left it at home so I had to get another one it's actually really good nail polish. It does, it is a thicker, it is kind of like gel. Um, I have it on my nails today. Sorry, they're a little ratchet. Um, my cat likes to attack me when she's in her play mode. So, she's actually a really sweet cat, but she's just been very playful this morning. So, excuse the things. My nails have been struggling. The water here is really terrible um, and stress just rips my nails apart. So this helps one, keep my nail polish on for a really long time and two, it helps keep my nails strong and not bend because my nails just, they're wretched, they're bad. But anyway, next, um, I got this Remington curling wand. It comes with a little mat. Um, this was, I think, 20 bucks. I got it at the next here on base. I really like it. It heats up really fast and it keeps my curls for days, for days. So, yeah. And then my husband and I are absolutely obsessed. Uh, obsessed with Tiger Balm. We have a lot of aches and pains. And my husband, he is 22 years old. Is he 22? Yeah, he's 22 years old. <laughs> and he is a cripple. He's a cripple. He's got all kinds of messed up crap going on with him. Um, and then I got this from the next two. It's the Febreze Unstoppables. And there is, this is the same scent, same brand, the Unstoppables. Stoppables or something like that and the uh, little laundry detergent beads and I love them and I love the scent of them but oh, Murphy's Law they give me contact dermatitis and I can't use them because if I use them on my sheets which I love to do because it smells so freaking good and I love the smell of it when I'm sleeping because it smells so good I'll wake up with little tiny bumps all over my face and all over my eyes and just everywhere and it hurts so bad so I can't use it but found this it smells just like it and it it really it makes my whole house smell so good and it doesn't give me contact dermatitis so that's a plus um let's see next we're gonna jump into the other stuff like other stuff yeah other stuff I got this the next few things I got at Michael's I got the artist loft art for everyone Turkish design coloring sheets and they're just I don't know if you can really see them they're just really nice pretty designs here's one I was working on for a while um, I love to do these when I start to feel anxiety or really stressed or just or feel panic attack coming. I'll just grab my markers and my color pencils and I'll just start working on it and it really settles me down. I love it. Also there, oh my god, there's so much shit right here. Also, I got these markers. Sorry, they're not in their little kit. They're just cheapo little markers. I think I got them for like four bucks, something like that. Um, yeah, those are nice. They're really hard to use with that coloring book though. So I just use these with that. And these I love. I love using the graphite solid pencils when I'm using, doing sketching and using it for watercolor art and stuff. And I totally did not know that they had these in the solid uh, coloring pencils. So I got these, I think it was like $9? I can't remember, it was like two months ago. But I love the case that they came in. It's really easy to store. And I just love these, you don't have to deal, it's 
totally worth the price um because they just last so much longer and they work so nice i love it love it love it love it there's that also from michael's I've got my coffee in it right now some of their halloween stuff is out and i got this when it just came out um it says witch's brew and i just love it i drink my coffee and stuff in it every single day and it says, Witch's Brew, drink at your own risk. Bottled in Salem, Massachusetts. Is it Massachusetts? Yeah. Refrigerate after opening. And it's just so cute. But like, as soon as I got it, my cat, you, as soon as I said that, she just perks up from her little box. Um, she chewed it. <laughs> I don't even think you can really see it, but she gnawed on it. And I fixed it, but it still has her little gnaw marks. And then she tried to gnaw on the top part too. Like, see that little? That's a cutie tooth hole from my Esmeralda. She's a brat. I don't know if I can see her. See her? <laughs> she knows I'm talking. Am I talking about you, Matt? That's my Sphinx. I can show her at the end too. Moving on. Uh, we went to, my husband and I went to Spencer's. They were having a sale on some of their incense and um, their socks. And we decided to get socks. And my husband got bullet socks because he's obsessed with guns. That boy has so many guns, I swear. But he got these. They're super duper thick. Um, the only thing I don't like about these socks is when you put them on, the actual design kind of fades away. They're so tight. Like, even with these, these do it too. Like, when I put them on, it's like, nah, you can't see what it is. But I got these ones. Purple is my favorite color. And yes, they got marijuana leaves on it. So what? But I love those. I love those. Um, we also got oh, some incense there. I did get some Satya Nachampa, but that's already gone. That's long gone. Um, they were having a buy one, get one 50%. No, it was 50% off all of their incense at that time. I don't know if it's like that still. Probably not. But I got the Spiritual Sky Incense and Dragon's Blood. This is actually, besides the Satya, this is the only one that I actually liked. It doesn't smell like Dragon's Blood, really. It still has a really smoky scent when you burn it. But it's doable. It's doable. But these, mm -mm. this is Off the Wall Inked in Saddlewood. And this is Off the Wall tagged in black magic this kind of has like a light licorice smell under it but that's just me this one kind of smells good but when you burn them it just it just smells like smoke so i don't really like it um next went to wally world got some more incense i'm being a total cheap ass with incense right now because I have so much incense at home. So much incense at home. Um, but we're trying to save money right now. Because we're going to be moving and driving across the country back to Ohio in like less than two months. So, yeah. These were, I think, 98 cents a piece at Walmart. And they these are way better than the Spencer's ones in my opinion they're not the best but they get the job done they still smell good I got this one in myrrh it's really fragrancy it doesn't really smell like myrrh none of these really smell like what they're supposed to smell like but they still smell decent this one actually kind of smells a lot like patchouli leaves and I'm almost out of it but it's really nice I like the color of it too I got Two Dragon's Bloods and two Nachampas. I haven't even tried these yet. 
and I got a frankincense. What time is it? I don't know, it doesn't come to me. Next, um, this is some Florida water, and guys, I live in like the Bible Belt in Ohio, so they it's really hard to find any kind of met metaphysical store near Chardon. There's a few of them, there's but there's still not that many. Um, and I literally can't find anywhere that sells Florida water. So I always had to buy it online and I have to pay like over six bucks for it some places. And I'm just not down with that. So I rarely ever have Florida water on me. Um, but I was at CVS the other day here in Lemoore and I look over and they're kind of oily, all natural section and there's Florida water for like three, three sixty or something. I don't, I don't really remember. It was cheap as all hell. It was in the three dollar mark, and it's the cheapest I've ever seen Florida water. Wa Florida water selling for so, mm, so good. I love Florida water. I will do a video just on Florida water itself soon. I'm really terrible at making videos. I'm so terrible, but moving on. I also forgot, I got this at Wally World. I actually like to splash a little bit of the Florida water in this oil burner along with some of my essential oils um, to kind of cleanse my area because this place needs a cleansing frequently. That I will describe in another video. Moving on. Um, I got this awesome hideaway book from Ross, and I am obsessed with Ross. They always have the best statues. Most of my statues that I've gotten, like, there's one right there. There's a statue. It's wood. It's really nice. I love it. Like, ten bucks or something. No, it was six bucks. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it was in a video that I made. But this was for $7.99. And I keep my crochet stuff. I'm in the process of crocheting a blanket right now. I haven't crocheted in like two years. And another thing, it helps with anxiety or panicky feeling or, you know, it just gives me something else to focus on when I'm feeling really stressed. So I crochet. Crocheting is a lot faster than knitting in my opinion. Because knitting is just so small. So I like crocheting better. Um, I got this thread at Marsh at Michaels, but um, ew, kitty, stinky girl. Um, I'm definitely gonna get some thread at Walmart because it's just too, too, too expensive in uh, Michaels. Are you done? Thank you. Sorry, that was my cat. Um, the next thing is, I got this Plur box from our smoke shop in Lemoore. I love it. It was, I think, uh, excuse me, what are you doing? That's my Esmeralda. What are you doing, ugly girl? You know you're not allowed on there. Come on, down. Hold on, y'all. She wants to say hi. Come here, Moo. Oh, you stinky kitty. Oh my, my hand's cold. Oh, she's feeling antsy. That's Esmeralda. Ow, Ezzy. She wants to play with her fishy toys. Anyway, I think it was like $134, well worth the price. Um, and then this is also Dead Mods. Uh, RDA. I don't even think that they make these anymore. I know they make the smaller ones, but I haven't seen the bigger ones like this anymore. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, but they're really nice. This is my favorite RDA. Um, 
it produces a lot of smoke and it really produces a nice flavor and it's not harsh on my throat. I like it. I really, um, I love vaping. I used to be a bad smoker, especially during deployment when my husband was away and it was bad, it was really bad. I was smoking like almost two packs a day. It was really bad. Mm, I look like shit. Um, and I'm down to three milligrams of nicotine in our e-juice, so I'm really happy. And my husband was just as bad as me when it came to smoking, and being on the boat really deterred him away from smoking cigarettes because it's gross, and you're on a giant aircraft carrier where y'all stink real bad, so... Anyway, my husband got this box off of Amazon. It was like 38 bucks. <sighs> and I don't really feel like this was worth 38 bucks. It is wood. It does have a nice clasp, but it's just so thin. But we keep our juice bottles. <laughs> we keep all of our juice bottles in here. Um, oh, Lord. Um... It, we were keeping them in my antique desk. Right, yeah. There's my bow. We were keeping it right there in those little cubbies. Right there. Um, if he wanted the box of his own and we needed something to carry them safely in. Um, so yeah, we keep our vape juices over there. And also, the cool thing about, we also get, we get, Two monthly subscriptions. We get Sample Box and Vape Box. And Sample, I can't remember what they are. I'll have to make a video about them. They're really nice. We get lots of juice for a really decent price. Um, but when the bottles are done, my husband takes off the wraps and takes off the sticky stuff and cleans them all up. And we have probably. 50 b bottles of this stuff, and when I get home, I am making some tinctures out the freaking ass. And they're just so cute, and they're these are decent bottles. They're nice. Um, the clear ones, I'll, I don't know what I'll use them for. I think I'll use them for some oil mixes for certain properties and shit. All that kind of fun jazz. But there's some cool bottles that come in these things, and... I take them. And then the last thing, which is the best thing, and I'm going to have to make its own separate video. Oh. Mm, the Wild Unknown Tarot. I've been wanting this forever. Oh my God, guys. Seriously, I didn't get the book because it's an extra 20 bucks and the deck was already 40 bucks as is. Um, but I had to get it. Um, it comes with a sheet, it explains what, it gives like a small explanation of what every card means, but it's basically just like most decks. Uh, it's got the major arcana and everything, but oh my god. The top says, welcome to the wild, get off. It says, welcome to the wild unknown tarot. You'll find no wrongs or rights inside this box, only mirrors for reflection Open your mind, draw a card, and have fun on your journey. And it's just so beautiful. I love the design work. And look at the tops. Oh my god. This deck. It just speaks to my soul. And they're really thick. Like, these will last a long time. Really, really long time. But the cardstock is so thick. And it's almost like a really smooth matte finish on them. And the artwork, oh my god, can we just look at this? Like it's, oh, oh, yes. Like I want to get so many of these tattooed on my body. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I'll have to make another video of all this stuff.
because it's just freaking amazing. I love it. You want to say bye? Come here. Oh, you're so whiny. Don't you want to say hi? This was my birthday anniversary present from my husband. You were the best present ever. Oh, she's so angry. She's just so angry. Oh my. She usually likes to be picked up and held and snuggled, but for some reason she's just in a very ornery mood today. But that's all I have. Stop it. Going after my clothes. You bad kitty. You are a naughty kitty. Naughty kitty. <laughs> well, y'all, this is a 21 minute video and I'm not going to edit it. So I got to go before it takes like five freaking hours to upload this. So. Thanks for watching my video. Sorry for some rambling. I don't know how to properly talk on YouTube yet. So, I hope you guys enjoy my haul. Where am I? Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Thanks for watching.